I'm Hannah. I'm Ant. And this is Art in the Corridor. We are Ant, Hannah and Mabel the Pup. We live and work from our 50 foot narrowboat, The Corridor. Come and join us as we attempt to navigate the English canals and the world as full-time artists. Here we go. Do you think it'll ever stop raining? I hope so, it's ridiculous. It's a lot of rain, there's a lot. I feel like all I ever say is there's a lot of rain and there's another storm. It's just climate change, isn't it? I wonder if it's not as boring or annoying if you live in a house. Let us know. You feel everything on a boat, didn't you? And, the other and it's small and you're kind of like... But the other problem is when you need to take Mabel for a wee, she it's, won't go. It's not just letting her out in the garden. No. You've got to. You're getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> it's really windy as well. <sighs> also, like cruising in this is well, it's just not fun, is it? If you don't have to, then don't, don't blooming bother. <laughs> Stop raining, let's get out, quick. Sun's out, quick, quick. <laughs> it won't last long. <laughs> Can you hear that, the water in the ground? So much of it. Hello everybody, nice to see you again. You all look lovely. <laughs> uh, so it's been one of those weeks this week that we were talking about on our episode how to become a full-time artist where it's all gone a bit quiet and I'm thinking it's probably because it's Easter um, and it just hasn't stopped raining but I have been doing some things do you remember we were talking about passive income so I have finally ordered some cards and I will show you which designs I've um, chosen to use. I really hope they come out okay. Oh, it's always a bit of a worry, but fingers crossed, I've taken the plunge. And I've also been thinking about, we had some comments on that video, how to become a full-time artist, and we were talking about passive income, and lots and lots of people suggested us getting our designs onto tote bags. I've been looking into it and it is actually quite expensive and I'm not sure if it's something I'll be able to do straight away. Maybe I could do like a pre-order or something. But I have designed something specifically for a tote bag. So I quite like it when they have like a circle design on the bags. And so here it is. Uh, it's a little lighthouse. But I feel like there should be some sort of words on here. I don't know what, maybe like a little quote or a little poem or just a few words. What do you reckon? Think of something that could go on there. I don't know, I just feel like it should have some words, like a thought or something. Let me know in the comments if you can think of anything. Hello everyone. Well, unsurprisingly, it's another rainy day. <laughs> it just it just doesn't seem to be stopping. Um, so I'm going to try and make like an Art Deco style um, travel poster this week. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, on that last print I made, the one I didn't really like that much, I'd sort of done these blended beams of light. And a lot of people mentioned that it had that sort of Art Deco feel. So I've been looking at some of the old Art Deco posters and they're actually really cool. And I think it would work really well with lino print. So I'll show you my little sketch. And it's going to be a canal one. And 
we'll see how we got on hopefully i'll get it done on this video but we might be pushing my luck a bit with that so we'll see what happens We've been reading through all the helpful comments on our videos and there was one comment last week which I thought was really interesting and I'm going to read it to you. So it's from at Curve2Music483. Hi Hannah, I think you should be keeping copies of the line drawings you do for your paintings. You could then get them printed and sell them for people to use as colouring in designs. A lot of people have difficulty drawing and I'm sure they would love to use your designs. During the pandemic, in the first lockdown I think it was, I did actually do some really simple um, line drawings and I sent them to friends and family who had children for them to colour in. But I really like the idea of doing something a bit more complex um, and having them as something that people can buy and then colour in however they like. So thank you for that, that's a really nice comment and a really useful one, so I'll look into that. I've just read another cool comment, so last week you may have seen, if you were watching, that Ant's print didn't quite go to plan. It, it looked fantastic, but he wasn't happy, he had a bit of a nightmare. Um, here's the comment that I think is super cool, Ant, listen to this. Yep. Ant from Orchard House 297. Place your print in a tube, hide it away in a cupboard, put a date in the diary several months ahead as the discovery date. If you don't believe you created the print, then it's great. Should we do it? Can do. Okay, let's do it. Right, I'll put it in my diary on my phone, a couple of months time, see what we think. It's gone back in time of this week's print, haven't you, a bit? Yeah. Art Deco. I'm going to do like an Art Deco poster. 1920s, 1920s. Yeah. 20s. It's mm -hmm. coming along nicely actually. Yeah. I really hope um, I can do it justice and I'm really happy with the sky on this so so I decided to go back in time a little bit also, although it's just imaginary. So we've got this kind of canal side. Just started sketching. It's not finished. Loads to do. And they're having a picnic. I don't think they really would be having a picnic. They'd be a bit smelly and dusty and... But, you know, why not? Carry on with that. Hopefully you can see that. It's a little bit faint at the moment. And I've noticed this sort of theme in these Art Deco travel posters. You always usually have a couple and they're staring out onto whatever the subject matter is. So I've done these bridges overlapping and one of those sort of pointy skies. <laughs> it's my best way of describing it. <laughs> we'll see how we get on with that. And I might have like some sort of block lettering at the bottom here. We'll think of something to write in there. I'm sure Hannah will come up with something. <laughs> When you were at school, did you used to have to sing, who built the ark? Yeah. And did you used to say, who built the ark? No one, no one. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> what made you come up with that? Well, it's raining, isn't it? And it stopped <laughs> well, raining. We were on the ark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it was a, a, a sort of loose connection, but okay. <laughs>
Well, you remember when I said I wouldn't do these templates again? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. But there's not going to be many because I've run out of paper. So that's why I've done it. <laughs> uh, this weather, isn't it unbelievable? Well, not really. It is, it's annoying. I know, but this is, it's like this because of what we've done to the planet. It's our fault. I didn't do it. <laughs> you contributed. What have I done? Right, so I started off with this funny blue. I've done this blend. And then you'll see I've done these two new bits because I've realised that they do this thing in these Art Deco posters with these sort of overlapping blends. So I've had to, I've done those two first, if that makes sense, on these, because otherwise my roller wouldn't, it would hit everything. <laughs> so I've done those two, which you can see here. Now I've cut those away, put another template on. And now I'm going to press this one. Can I have a look? A look. So that's the first two of that Ooh. new piece. Nice. Right, so fingers crossed, this should now have like that Art Deco style sky with those overlapping blends. Ooh. It, al it almost looks painterly. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's Is that a good. word? Yeah. It? Yeah, so the first load of stuff I've done was a bit of a waste of time, but when it all comes together, I'm hoping this one will be a good one. <laughs> Actually breathe. Whew. Not as fit as I was. So I've jumped a couple of steps now because um, I forgot to film some. <laughs> so here, this is where we're up to. I've done a couple of blends on these bridges. Well, they're actually aqueducts, I suppose. And then I've left these arches in. They're going to be a darker colour just to add a bit of depth. But so far, I'm quite liking it. Right, so whilst you're um, chipping away or cutting <laughs> away, yeah. we've got some questions from people. Okay. Should we answer some? Yep. Okay. So Liz asks, oh, she says, love your work, both of you. Thank you very much. I'm interested in how you choose your subjects, where you get your ideas from, what inspires you. And she goes on to say, I think you do really well considering the small amount of space you have. Thank you very much. It yeah. is a struggle. It is a, a, a continuous struggle. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you can think about how did you end up making this print? Like where what, where did that inspiration come from? Um, well, obviously the boats and stuff. We're very boaty. <laughs> um, but this particular one, because this is a bit different. The last few weeks I've been try trying to do different stuff. And this is going to be like an Art Deco poster. But that's because, oh right, okay. So last week I made this, which will look all washed out with the sun behind it. Yeah. And these beams of light were blended and a few people said it looked like that Art Deco style. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I'll play on that and try and do something else. So I started making this. So this is where we're up to at the moment. So again, similar theme, and I've done it on these bridges and stuff. 
But yeah, sometimes you, the ideas just develop one from the next. Yeah, so sometimes they come from the... But initially, I suppose we we're both, in a way, influenced by our surroundings. Yeah. And observations of social interactions. Yeah. Or well, yeah, because like the other one was just kids in a chicken shop. Yeah. <laughs> chicken shop. Chicken shop. <laughs> Couldn't say it. Yeah, I hope that... Yeah, I hope that helps. I'm the same really, although I like to create a place or a world where there's no worries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically doing it for my own benefit. You just go into that little world and you create a little place where it's just calm and it's just how you want it to be. And it's like, or I don't know, childish really isn't it magical you, you know when you look around you see things you see the moon you're like that's amazing <laughs> like so put all the amazing things all that feeling into a place where you can just chill out without any worries but also i've noticed with your work you do a lot of like lighthouses and little harbours and stuff and you you're always saying how much you want to live in a little cottage by the sea i want to live by the sea <laughs> yeah yeah so again for my own benefit <laughs> Well, this is where we're up to. It's been another slog, this one, but... <laughs> so now... <laughs> Things are getting real. Things are getting real, look. We're on the floor. I need a press, that's what I need. <laughs> I've got ink all over me. And mud. And mud from Mabel. Okay, ready for another one? Okay, yeah. So, Jennifer White asks, I think we've gone into this in another video, but anyhow, <laughs> are you both self-taught artists or did you go to college? Do you have any other interests too? Um, well, well, we are artists. We've been to college and went and did a degree in music technology. Yeah, music production. Music production. I did a degree and a master's degree in dance, performance and choreography. So we are artists, but we are not trained in any way, shape or form in printmaking or drawing or anything to do with fine art or art. So, yeah. So, Sue asks, Hi Hannah, do you have a permanent mooring or are you continuous cruises? Are there any places on the canal network that you would love to see? So if you're not on boats, um, people work it differently. Some people continuously cruise, so they move constantly for 12 months of the year. Some people continuously cruise for six months of the year and get a winter mooring in a marina or on the towpath. Some people have residential mo uh, moorings um, and we've done a bit of Bit of both really haven't we well yes yeah, so we sort of move around in the summer and then get a winter mooring. Get a winter mooring um or it might be that we spend a bit more time on a mooring it just depends what is happening at <laughs> every, you know in life and um, when we first we've been on the boat nine years and when we first got onto the boat we were on the river and we had a residential mooring we were both working in the area so that worked at that time then we moved on to the canals and we generally traveled throughout the spring and summer into the autumn and then got winter moorings um, and sometimes we'd stay a little bit longer on our winter moorings yeah we just play it by ear really but we've never actually um, continuously cruised the whole 12 months of the year because I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> truth be told I don't want to be moving in the winter yeah, yeah. it's muddy and... it's muddy and you just sometimes you need a bit of a base so yeah that's that's that question answered hopefully Floor reveal. There still should be a box with text under this picture, which I haven't done yet. Well, you can come to that, can't you? You can get to that. Whoa! That's ace. That's crisp as a... Crisp. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> So, you weren't done. No, I wasn't done. This wasn't the look I was going for. Right. 
it I've put these black lines around the edges of the boats and it's just brought everything forward and it doesn't have that sort of art deco -y look to it so what I've done I was quite brave because I thought well it's going to go in the bin otherwise I've cut the lines off and I've just used this darker color and I've just tried another one and I think it's got more of that look it's a bit more subtle I'm just going to put black over the people that'll yeah. be done at a later date I'm afraid okay. but I think that's achieved that's that look a bit better wanted. yeah so oh, that's good yeah so I haven't got in the bin so <laughs> thanks for bearing with me lovely jubbly right that's it for this week there were some more questions that we were asked and I really want to delve into those some of them are quite juicy so I want to take a little <laughs> bit of time to really think about it um and yeah discuss them yeah we could start Thank putting so that much. on some of the videos like yes. questions yeah yeah we could we could have like a little segment couldn't we, yeah. each week and next week i've saved it for next week because i just want it to sit nicely in um a, a different video we've got sarah hume oh artist of the week yeah. artist of the week she's an art therapist and she also makes these beautiful dolls and all sorts of other things i think she does pyrography and some watercolors and paintings and stuff as well really excited for that um so that'd be great and don't forget to like subscribe and push the notification bell anything else anthony nope you all right mm, yep <laughs> <laughs> it's been one of those weeks i feel like you say that every time i know yeah I, i've been trying to like experiment a bit and it's it's not all been going to plan <laughs> but it's all right but the good thing about that is you can go back to what you were doing yeah yeah right thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for some folky folky excitement <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Bye. bye